Hello you, welcome to Shriekism, part of Halloween here on Geekism. We're going to be playing some spooky games, or at least playing normal games, but with a slightly spooky fashion. Here we are in Planet Coaster building a haunted house. So we started the facade of the haunted house in the last episode. Uh, today we are building uh, the queue, uh, the outside queue, and uh, a little bit of detail around the front of the property. Again, very much uh, influenced by Duel at Haunt at, uh, Aunt Towers, their haunted house that now has light guns involved and everything, but uh, I'm going for a bit more of a traditional haunted house once we get on the inside, uh, but hopefully you'll, uh, if you know Aunt Towers, you'll be able to see this and, and recognise it. So I I'll talk a little bit about more about what we're building in just a moment. First of all, I want to apologise for not being around this week. Uh, ended up that Shriekism uh, has had a scary week of no videos. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, um, last week, last uh, Friday, it was my grandmother passed away. Um, we were very close. I, uh, I grew up with my grandmother. I grew up and uh, living with her, and um, uh, it really. Um, was uh, whilst she was very ill, uh, she had Alzheimer's and lots of other ailments. Um, it's a, it's never nice to 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 lose somebody. So uh, I took a little bit of time away, went down to visit the family, uh, spend some time with them, and uh, sort of you know started the planning of the funeral and all that sort of stuff. And uh, feeling a lot better now. Uh, you know I've done done a lot of grieving, but uh, you know doing doing okay and uh, looking forward to uh, to seeing the family again. Uh, very soon and obviously the, uh, the funeral is going to be taking place in a few weeks but I'm hoping that you know at the moment I'm, I'm feeling pretty good and able to get back into video so yeah apologizing for the week away uh, but that's what it was I was going down and spending some time with family uh, grieving but there we are back and like I say we're working on this so uh, Shriekism as far as I'm concerned we're going to carry on till the end of October with it uh, although some of the uh, sort of filler videos that we were going to have are probably going to be a little bit lighter I really want to get this uh, done uh, you know what if it isn't finished by the end of Halloween then so be it. We'll finish it anyway. It's a you know it's a haunted house. It's an integral part of the of the park. So you know it will get done. I would have just liked to have capped it off. And also there's a few cool games coming out at the end of October uh, that I really want to play on the channel too. Uh, the Colonists and Project Hospital gets its full release as well, or at least a a, a, a larger version release uh, into early access than what we've already played. So looking forward to both of those. Uh, in the meantime, we'll probably do a little bit more Mackie Villain, and we've got something else coming to the channel this week as well as part of Shriekism. So. Uh, yeah, again, apologies for the delay. Uh, if um, if you're wondering where I was, uh, Twitter, Discord, both of those, we talked about it on there. I mentioned where I was going on there. So if you're not already, uh, head over to Twitter, follow me on at John T. Sparrow, uh, or you can join uh, Geekism Discord. There's a link in the description. And uh, if you're ever wondering where videos are or, or where I've gone or everything, hopefully I don't have too much of a break. This is the first break I've had in about a year. Uh, but if there is ever a gap in the videos, most likely there will be a post on there explaining what's going on. So then, the uh, the queue for uh, this ride is going to be mostly outdoors with a little bit interior queue. Um, the actual uh, dual ride that this is based on has a slight interior queue that's pretty much a haunted house. You actually start walking through the haunted house and there's scenes to see and stuff while you're still queuing, which is pretty good. So we'll probably do something like that. Uh, I want to use some of the um, the furniture pieces that we got with Spooky Pack to build sort of like a... Um, a living room area that you walk through before you get to the ride itself and then the, once you're on the ride uh, it becomes less about a haunted house and just a bit more sort of standard spooky scenes which again is something we're going to go for a bit more cheesy a bit more tacky that kind of uh, a little bit of a less of a story to it you know uh, than some of the higher end haunted houses like the ones in Disney. Uh, but the outdoor queue is pretty much a, a graveyard. So you work, you walk your way through a graveyard and um, and see the various graves. And if you remember, I was building in Conifer Slopes a little while ago for Mass Bandit. I actually placed a, a sort of larger grave there for King Arthur in his Camelot area. And uh, we did a little sort of um, little poem on there. I forget what it was there, but the punchline was something like dragon, and now he's dragon's food or something. But it was a little rhyme, you know. And uh, a lot of them would have these on. Um, you know, here, here lies old tall Gary McSunder, was six foot three, now six foot under. You know, that, those sort of things. I just completely made that up, but I was quite impressed, actually. Uh, they would have them written on it. Obviously, we can't really do that with here. There is a billboard graveyard. I did play a uh, gravestone, sorry. I did play around with using the billboard, but it's very bright. It doesn't really work out how I wanted it to. So instead, we just go and use some of the random graves. Uh, but we also do a couple more set scenes here as opposed to the one on Towers. The theming here is a little higher, to be honest with you, but I like to think that this is the Haunted Towers 
this is the sort of thing that they would spend maybe their first million on, you know, like a big themed area, spend a little bit of money on it, make it look nice. But I've also tried to make it look a little bit tired and not just sort of like, ooh, spooky haunted house tired. Try to make it look it's a little bit overgrown and probably, you know, is, is old. I want it to look like it's, it was built in the early 90s kind of thing. Uh, so as well as a few graveyard areas, we're also going to have some fresher graves over by the door there. And then also here, we're having a pumpkin patch. Uh, this is my sort of homage to uh, to Mass Bandit. He's doing a fantastic Halloween series that I've really been enjoying called uh, Bro Acres Pumpkin Palooza, uh, which is basically a pump, an American style pumpkin farm. Um, there are a few of these in the UK, I think, uh, but they're not such a big deal over here. Uh, but in the States, it's a big thing to kind of go and get your pumpkin. And while you're there, they'll have a few fair rides or maybe like a hay cart uh, trail through, the, uh, through some of the fields and through the forest uh, and a few different places to get some food and drink. And you just kind of make a half a day out of it. Um, um, you know, a bit of a spooky thing, but not scary, uh, but spooky. One thing we have a lot of in this country, especially over the last few years, are sort of proper scary farm spaces, things like Farmageddon um, and uh, and scare mazes and things like that. These are really popular at the moment. I'm not a personal fan of them, really. I'm, I'm very much like what John says, like what Mass Bandit says. I like the spooky, uh, spooky idea of Halloween, not necessarily the real scary stuff. It just doesn't really interest me. Uh, I love, personally, ghosts in white sheets and pumpkins and, uh, you know, vampire bats flapping away and all that kind of stuff you know bits of it sort of cheesy tacky kiddies halloween that's what I, that's the sort of thing i'm into uh, so that's what i've tried to do here a little bit but one thing i also wanted to try and get across as well which is something i've always really appreciated about the haunted house and towers is it isn't actually like typically ghost train on the outside at least the actual ride itself is pretty tacky uh, but the ride the inside it's the outside sorry it's not actually very ghost training so they don't really have um that many sort of big spooky like real traditional there's no zombies or skeletons or anything like that there's just sort of light creepiness you know so i've done a little few bits here with some skeletons and stuff but for the most part it's just meant to look like a bit of an old house that has a graveyard you know there's no zombie arms coming out of the graves for instance they are just sort of relatively plain graves and there and the house front as well is not you know it's not a proper typical haunted house it's not purple with cobwebs all over it it's just like a bit of a creepy old manor house and that's something i really wanted to get across with this i didn't want this to be really sort of cheesy uh, ghost train wanted to be a little bit more of a sort of actual sort of spooky area and um, we built it right near the side of the lake so it's going to act a little bit like a weenie I guess you're going to be able to see this right from the other side of the lake which I quite like uh, but then also other than that it's actually quite uh, similar to the Alton Towers one very wooded area so on this side of the path that we're building here is going to be very wooded it's actually relatively close to the campsite so we have to make sure we get a really strong green belt in there so that there's a complete separation from the campsite and this area which is something we're going to be working on but for the most part as you can see here i wanted it to be really overgrown and not like a themed overgrown i wanted this to just look like it's been here for a long time everything's uh, all the planting has really settled in uh, lots of uh, lots of low-lying shrubs lots of uh, like bracken and things like that so we use a lot of the creosote bushes and the scavolia to uh, really get that across and uh, here you know we've gone relatively heavily with the trees that air, that will carry on down as we build the area up or spread those trees across either way but for now at least uh, you know there's a gravestone fell over there just hasn't been repaired by maintenance and things like that i uh, wanted it to look a little bit um sort of not necessarily unloved but you know it's made its money it's here now. For the most part, the one at Alton Towers, you very rarely queue. I mean, probably now because they've got their sort of scare fest on, which is their sort of Halloween time. Um, and at weekends or half terms, it's probably a little bit busier. But for the most part, when we've been to Alton Towers in the last few years, uh, their haunted house has been a pretty much a walk on. Uh, and this bit of queue here that goes around to the left is usually closed off, and you literally just walk through the front door and you're on it. Um, the other thing that I really wanted to do here is I'm putting a gate here that will access, uh, make it possible to access the ride itself. Uh, uh, the warehouse that the ride's going to be built in. That's actually at the Alton Towers. It's on the other side, and you walk across it if you're using the larger queue. Um, but to be honest with you, I've done a lot of the queue work, and then I was like, oh, God, yeah, there's a gate, isn't there? And I forgot. So I've just put it on the other side as a bit of an homage, a bit of a nod. Um, but yeah, really, uh, that, that would have been on the other side if I was building a, a more of a sort of one for one replica. Here, I put down some of the dead trees, but I, again, I just think they're a little bit too over the top, and instead, I've gone for these sort of poplars instead. Uh, this area in Alton Towers has got a, a little um, uh, QSR that sells uh, ice cream, nitrogen ice cream, so it's this ice cream that's sort of 
put into one of those uh, cold ice, uh, you know, dry ice vats and, and frozen that way. Uh, it's called Nitro Genie. I think it's a, I think it's a brand. It's a chain. You can get them around the place, but this one's like a sublet inside Alton Towers. Um, wasn't really wanting to do something like that. Uh, but the other thing that they have outside of theirs is quite, it's a small little crypt uh, that now actually has a zombie popping out of it with a light gun because the guy, the rides a light gun now, and it's a, you know, again, it's a little bit tacky really. But beforehand, it was just sort of a, uh, a crypt that you could just come and sort of have your photo taken outside or whatever. So I've decided to uh, to go for that instead. Uh, the one we're building is a little larger than the uh, the one on Towers and probably a little larger than I'd like if I'm totally honest with you. Uh, but I am trying to cover up the uh, the funky path that we've got there. So you'll see that's why it's uh, slightly bigger than I probably wanted it to be. I, I may go back and have another little pass about this. I'd like your thoughts on this to be honest with you. Once it's finished, uh, does it sort of... Uh, you know, chop away too much from the front of the house. Uh, is it a little bit too overbearing or is it okay? Please let me know in the comments. There's no wrong answer really. I'm just looking for some feedback before we uh, before we carry on with the area. Next one then, we will do the interior queue. So again, like I said before, we're going to be using a um, uh, the, the spooky living room set with the tables and the bookshelves and all that sort of stuff. Uh, the one at Alton's house has this awesome little uh, ghost um, uh, doll's house that has a little uh, ghosty doll inside who who passes around and picks up a teddy bear and stuff like that and there's a rocking chair that rocks on its own and a, and a book whose pages that turn you know all very simple animatronics uh, they've recently spent a little bit of money on it and had some new uh, picture frames put in there um, so yeah we're going to be doing that sort of stuff uh, and it's also the whole thing's on a bit of a wonk as well so it's, it feels a bit creepy to walk through it's all a bit uh, wonky and that sort of stuff so uh, we'll do that next and then the next couple of episodes will be the ride itself the actual interior ride itself there we go a couple of glamour shots to figure off thank you so much for watching again Th apologies for for uh, the break um, thank you for bearing with me and it's very nice to be back uh, thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it if you have you can give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe any thoughts queries or suggestions you can pop those down in the comments and if you fancy a chat you can find me on twitter I'm at John T. Sparrow if you'd like to join in with the Geekism community you can do so on our Geekism discord server you'll find the link for that in the description thank you very much to all of our patrons who make these videos possible through their pledges at patreon.com slash geekism thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next one.